Hey guys, this looks like a fun one. It says solve for x. And it's the square root of x to the x to the x equals x. And it says x is greater than 1. So it does look like x equals 1 would have been one solution for this, but they've excluded that solution. And they want us to find another one. If you want to try this on your own, pause it right now because I'm going to solve it in 3, 2, 1. So first we can multiply these exponents. And x times x is equal to x squared. And next, to get rid of this square root, let's square both sides of the equation. So this exponent and this square root are going to cancel each other out. So now we have x to the x squared equals x squared. Since x can't equal 1 or 0, that means the only way this is true is if the exponents are equal to each other. So we can drop the base. Drop the base. So we can drop the base and set the exponents equal to each other. And then from here we can square root both sides. And the square root of x squared is the absolute value of x. So we have the absolute value of x is equal to square root of 2. But since we know that x can't be negative, this is just going to be x equals square root of 2. And that is the answer to our question. We can put a box around it. And let's check our work. We're going to plug in the square root of 2 for each of these x's. And then we're going to multiply these exponents. Square root of 2 times square root of 2 is equal to 2. And then this square root and this square cancel each other out. And then we end up with square root of 2 equals square root of 2. It checks out. So for this problem, x equals the square root of 2. How exciting.